Oh, hi, Mr. Francois. Hi. Oh. Do you speak Tagalog or? Uh, marunong ako, pero konti lang. How about okay. English? Hirap yeah. uh, pa ako magtagalo. Okay, then English is good? <laughs> yeah, English is good. <laughs> yeah. French, possible? Or? French? Um, je ne parle pas. Croissant. Pas pas français? Correct. Tama, tama. Tama. Croissant. Tama. So, Francois, uh, welcome to the studio. I heard that you wanted to reach out to your ex-girlfriend. Okay, uh, we are not married. Okay. But what I want the most is to find the kids. Because it's been, many, it's been almost two years, I don't have any news. So, yes. Can you tell me how you and Beatrice met? Yes. Uh, first of all, maraming salamat sa yung lahat, huh? sa Ravi Tulfo and uh, no your the team. So, <laughs> yeah, it's just trying. <laughs> yes. So, uh, I'm a French teacher. Okay. So, she was my student back in 2015. So, that's how we met. Well, after we had uh, two kids. One okay. in 2016 and 2017, and then uh, we separate May 2018, okay. and it's been now two years. I don't have any news from right. them. Where is Beatrice from? Is she from Manila? Is she from Cebu? From Quezon City. Quezon City. Yes. City. Okay, and you know her residence here in Quezon City. Mm, that's where, where she's from, but I have no idea where she is exactly you, now. You don't know her address, her previous address when you were still... The previous address... Now, the family live in Quezon City, in the La Vista subdivision. Right. Are you familiar with yes, this? Yes, yes. It's very yes. near where I went to school. It's right past in Katipunan Avenue. Yes, exactly, yeah. yes. Near okay. Ateneo. Yeah. Yes. Um, but now I heard, I have a contact who told me that they might be in Antipolo, but you oh, couldn't reach them, so I have no idea if it's true. It's also near me, and that's where I live now, in Antipolo. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, we want to help you. Have you checked with the police or the barangays of Antipolo and Quezon City? She the police, not that. really. Well, I contacted a lawyer, mm -hmm. so she tried to help me. He tried to help me. Mm -hmm. He sent a demand of... Uh, Maybe demand. Letter of, demand, yeah, letter. demand of visitation demand letter, yeah. to uh, In La Vista. Mm -hmm. Because what I know, what I'm sure is the uncle of Beatrice still living there. Okay. And he's a lawyer, so and he's he's a good person, I think. So I was thinking maybe if he received the letter he will, he will help take you. it seriously. But he's the uncle in law. Okay. And I think he don't want to be involved in this. Yeah, yeah. I'm understand. sure. Maybe. He's not proud of what's happening. And I guess that's the reason that I don't have any news now. So All right. Is there anything you want to say? Maybe Beatrice is listening into the program. If you want to say something to her before I well, I'm not. Again. I'm not here in uh, this show to do uh, like a bashing to her or anything. Yeah. I don't want any revenge. All I want is to know if my kids are safe mm -hmm. and uh, and if I can see them. I understand. Like uh, it's very painful for a father to not be in touch with their kids, uh, and you haven't seen them for at least three years now. Five, two years, two yes. Years? Two yeah. years. Yeah. The thing is. Uh, July 2020, I left Philippines mm -hmm. to come back to France a few months. And just before my flight, we had like, a, not a dinner, but we were together with Beatrice and her boyfriend. I know the boyfriend because we play football together. He's okay. a good guy. I thought he was a good guy. We talk as friends mm -hmm. and everything was okay. She told me, okay, when you are in France, call anytime. You can do video call, no, no worries. The kids need you. Yeah. So I remember that. And suddenly, October, during the birthday of my son, I called, and that was the last time I was in touch with them. And I don't have any explanation. They didn't tell me anything. Everyone blocked me from uh, social networks. I don't know why. That's my problem, is I don't have any... There is no reason. So starting October, I stopped to give allowance because... Yeah. You need to support them. If I want, I want to support them, but I don't even know if they are safe or anything. Yeah. And you don't even know where to send it to, right? So, also, yes. Yeah. Mm. So mm. I don't think that you have to, you know, uh, you don't have to stress yourself about the support since she's the one finding ways for you not to give that support. So you don't have yeah. any legal liabilities with that. The problem is, I, I guess, we are not married. And I know yeah. having kids and not being married is not a good thing sometimes in the Philippines, mm -hmm. maybe. Well, mm. not in France, really. it happens a lot. But um, yeah. It also happens a lot here. Uh, it doesn't change the obligations of the parents to the kids. You still have the right to see them. Mm. You still yeah. have the obligation to support them. It's just the custody really belongs with the mother. Yeah. But that does not mean you can't see them. She still has to give you the opportunity to see yeah. the child. But I remember a message from the mom of Beatrice mm -hmm. telling me that since we are not married, I'm just a um, biological yeah, person. Yeah, you're the biological That's father. That's it. Well, she didn't even employ the term father. She, she's just uh, something, but yeah, nothing else. What's well, so, the difference? I mean, I'm nothing. 
you're I'm not nothing for yeah. them. I, I know what she's trying to point out that mm. you're not at all related legally to, to the them. kids. But that's not true. Uh, in the Philippines, even if you are not married, we still recognize what we call visitation rights, mm. which means you can visit the child. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Right? That's so maybe your question will be why, why we are not married? Because at some point, uh, she lost my trust also. That's, I didn't talk about that, but I don't want to do too much bashing. But we, we don't have to go into it mm. if you're not comfortable, but if you just, if you just want because to tell the story. I cannot tell everything. It will be bad for uh, her, yeah. the kids. It will not be good for anyone. So, yeah. But there was many lies, many yeah. bad things happened. And so when you lose the trust, uh, it's gone. Uh, yeah. is it the, possible the is to marry gone. someone you don't trust? No, that's no, the question. I, I, I hope. It's hard. I try to every time close my eyes, thinking that no, it's not her. She did nothing. No, and at some point I had some proof, so I cannot hide the uh, the truth, and uh, I cannot. Well, the way I see it, Francois, eyes. is that you dodged the bullet. At least it happened before you two got married, because unlike in France, we don't have divorce here in the Philippines, so you'll be stuck in that relationship. So yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's the good thing about it. The bad thing is now that she's hiding her kids. And she disappeared, yes. And, uh, yeah. We're going to be more than happy to coordinate with uh, Barangays and the police of Quezon City mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and Antipolo on your behalf. Yes. And in that way, we can find out if she registered a residence mm. uh, since she around will... Around QC, you know? Yeah, around QC. And even in Antipolo, mm. uh, we are familiar with some of the mayors there. Mm. So... We'll be more than happy to coordinate with them. Because I know, like, for example, they use a lot of nannies and helpers. Yeah. And I know they're on my side. I mm -hmm. know because they know me. It's been a long time. But they are scared to talk. Mm -hmm. They are scared to lose their job. They are scared because, the I don't know, their husband, their brother is also the, the, the cook, is also the driver. Is also, they are scared to lose their job. So they cannot speak. And um, mm. Maybe if we are the ones to talk to them, they'd yeah. be more than willing to talk. If you could give our I staff so, yes. the contact numbers yeah. or uh, if you could so. give our staff... I'm just scared for them Ooh. that they, they have problem with this family. And, uh, no. Uh, that's the thing. In the same way that we're helping you, we will help them be protected Great, okay. in the same way. So, Just for example, I tried something uh, 2021. Mm -hmm. I asked the French embassy to yeah. help me. They contact her, Beatrice. They ask, and she replied, she answered them that if I want news from the kids, I need to call her lawyer. Then the embassy asked, who is your lawyer? And she said, I don't have yet a lawyer. When I have a lawyer, I will contact you. <laughs> she never contacted. And the embassy no. called back two weeks later, still didn't have it. That's how she is. Always okay. saying things that doesn't exist. Or uh, I mean, I feel bad for my kids. I don't want my kids to grow up with someone who hide the truth. And I don't know. I think it's not responsible. We need to be responsible parents. And, uh, and now I know the way she is, if she is still like this, mm -hmm. the nanny is 24 hours, the nannies with the kids, and she don't take care of them. In France, we don't really have nannies helper. We have yeah, maybe a few hours, but we start school at two years old. Or two yeah. point, I started school like at 2.5. Babysitter, a babysitter. Yeah, maybe babysitter, yes. Yeah. But if we go to mall or outside, it's just the parents with the kids. Yeah. yeah. Maybe because we cannot afford uh, labor is much more labor, expensive there. Yeah. Yes, but also we want to spend time. Me, I'm a teacher, so I really want to educate, to pass on knowledge. Mm -hmm. I really want to teach them. For example, French. Yeah, it's a beautiful language. So, And now they could be in the French school. It's a good school mm -hmm. in Paranyake. Yeah. It's too bad. They are missing that. And I really hope... I know in, in the world, in Philippines, a lot of kids didn't Have the grow opportunity up with their father because yes. the father ran away. That's true. My kids, they have the chance to have me to here. To have a normal house, a normal home. And to have me here, mm -hmm. present for them. Yeah. So, I don't know, maybe she wants to punish me for breaking up with her four years ago. But she also punished but, the kids. But I heard that, that it's her fault, the breakup. Like, she, she yeah, lost I'm the trust, one who right? broke up. Yeah. yeah. Can you give a short message to Beatrice? Maybe she's so watching Maybe right she's now. watching this. Right I'm not sure she's watching because she doesn't know I'm, I'm here now. But probably the nannies mm -hmm. can maybe tell her to, mm -hmm. uh, to contact me. She knows how I am. I'm not like in a revenge mind or I'm not violent. I just want to know if my kids are safe. I know. And okay. I want to see them. Yeah. Let's so, yeah, that's the thing. Shadi, anything to say? Yeah, any message for 
Yet no, 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 that's it. He already said his piece. Yeah, so what I want to do is this interview is because my kids are four and five years old, they have 10 months difference. It's almost twins. One day they will be older. One day they'll see it. And maybe one day they will watch this. Yeah. And I don't want to talk bad about Beatrice too much. I don't want mm. them to hate their mother. Mm. One maybe day. you have a message for your kids. But That'll what I want to say nice. to my kids is I want them to know that I fought for them yeah. in 2022. And I'm, I will still fight. Mm -hmm. And I didn't abandon them because I don't know what Beatrice is telling them. And uh, yes. Do they so. know how to speak French? Unfortunately, no, they can't. No, not yet. Or maybe they have a teacher, but I don't think so. Too bad. Mm -hmm. It's the best time now to learn. So again, uh, I talked to my staff and they said they'd be willing to receive your contacts. Mm. And we'll try to reach out to the, uh, again, the house help, the maids, the drivers. If you have any contact numbers that maybe you can give our program, we'd be more than happy to help you. And I hope, yeah. I hope she's can willing to as well. negotiate this. Mm -hmm. um, if she I does have a lawyer, ask. maybe her lawyer is more comfortable dealing with a Filipino lawyer too and not yeah. the French embassy. So I can help her negotiate terms of visitation Yes, where uh, you can at least see them over the weekend or at least go out with them on at their least birthdays. Yes. At least, yes. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, if they really stay in Antipolo, it will be hard just to have them uh, because yeah, this is negotiation. Yeah. yeah. The time uh, visit. If I only have few hours on Sunday, it's already a few hours to travel there. Yeah. But it's better than nothing. But it's hard no, to. I'll, I'll try to give you at least a weekend. I cannot educate kids yeah. if I see them just few hours. Maybe they will not recognize me first yeah. every time I need Maybe to a rebuild something. Every week. Every week. Or at least twice me. or yeah. thrice a week with you. Is I know. A good deal. We are not in France, but in France, most of it, sometimes we do one week, one week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. also. Me, I'm willing good. to yeah. move to Antipolo. I'm willing to yeah. live there, it's but the best will be Paranaque, yeah. so Paranaque. I can bring them to the French school. Yeah, this mm -hmm. will be the best for them. We can have uh, maybe it's free for me because I'm French. They are French, also they have French okay. passport. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Dual. But uh, I'll when, take note when of we that. broke up, yeah. she took everything, all the documents, the French passport. So oh. I lost everything. I just have pictures now, but I have birth certificate at least. Okay. So if one day they want to renew their French passport, yeah, they can do that. They'll, they'll come to yeah. you. <laughs> they come to me, yes. Or the yeah. embassy. Because one day they will question her. Yeah, Why we don't true. go to Paris? Why we don't meet the French family? Mm -hmm. Why they... I don't know what she will answer. We'll show this video, sir. Yeah, that's the purpose of yeah. this video. Yes. Can you please give our staff all the numbers we have by any way we can contact the nanny, them? The drivers, uh, everyone that you think. The, anyone that you think can help us contact them, we'll try sure. to do it. Uh, we have ways in the program to convince them mm -hmm. uh, in such a way that we'll ensure their protection against yeah. the family. I know since they live in La Vista, then they're probably rich and influential. Yeah. So if they're that's in the La Vista, yeah. really, right But now. Mm. at least we can equalize that by having the power of media and the exposure to the public. Yes. They'll mm. be scrutinized if they do something funny. So mm -hmm. let's see. You know, uh, I'll be more than happy to help uh, somebody here in the Philippines who visits us and then gets, you know, done bad by somebody from our side of the yes. country. So, I really hope uh, this never happened to anyone. Yeah, really. to anyone. Especially for, uh, for the kids. I know, I know. For and the kids to lose I, their father and, uh, yeah. Yeah. So anyway. Thank you so much. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Francois. Thank you, so thank much. you for it's coming in. Time. And we'll stay in touch. And yeah. I hope at least by next week. We'll find a way to at least get your phone call. Okay, yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't use too much, too much Tagalog because it's, it's okay. Merci so, uh, beaucoup. Yes. Merci, merci. 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 Thank, Thank you. Au revoir. Thank you. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bye. The door to your left, Francois. Uh, if you can enter the door to your can left, can someone assist, assist the Francois? Shari, assist me, Francois. I just want to go. No, no, no. I'm not going to go. 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 Ha 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 ha!